Hello and welcome to this presentation on Webpack Bin. Uh, the service is currently in beta, but I want to show you uh, all the cool features. Um, so Webpack Bin is a code sharing tool, uh, but it differs from the current generation of, of these kinds of tools because it runs on Webpack. Uh, and that gives us some really powerful features. But let me just take you through this. Um, now I ha have my main file here and let me just query selector on the app here and let's change inner HTML to hello world. And when I save this now, uh, we see that it's displayed on, in the preview window here on the right side. Uh, but since we're running on Webpack, we can actually add more files here. So let me add a new file called test.js and we are going to log something, but we're not going to log to the console, we're going to log to Webpack bin. Uh, console. Uh, so let me log hello world here instead. And what we have to do is of course require this file. So I just require it as I would do normally. And when I save this now, I can click on the log and it states hello world. Uh, but I can also mm, log out objects and whatever here. So when I log this now, we can see that it's an object. Uh, but uh, we can do a lot more than this. Uh, if I click this button up here called uh, configure, uh, we have access to all uh, NPM packages. For example, if I search for React, we get React and React DOM, we get React DOM. Uh, I can also add any loaders here. So typically when working with React, I would hook on bubble and I want stage zero, ES 2015, and also React support. Um, and that means when I run this uh, bin now, it actually runs with React and all, all, all the loaders. But instead of me writing lots of code now, now let me show you another feature. Uh, so on boiler pl boilerplates, uh, there are some preset uh, packages and code. And this will expand uh, as the service uh, moves on uh, because it's a really good way to go into uh, a tool like React and then in the documentation, they can link to Webpack bin. And when I hit React here now, you see that it just instantly appears. And that is because there are some smart caching solutions in the background uh, running here. Uh, but I can also check out another boilerplate. Maybe I want to check some Redux. And there we have it. We have Redux. And going back to React, then I can change the code here. And as you can see, it, it just works. Okay, so uh, you also have the possibility to download your bin. So if I hit the download button here, I will get a file called project.zip. And if we take a look at this file now, we can see that I get my source files and I get a Webpack config. So all you really need to do locally now is to put these files in a folder, run npm install and npm start, and you can continue working on it locally. Um, but there's one more thing I want to show you. Uh, there is a button up here called live. So let me click this button now. And now I have a live session. And you can see there's a label down here stating you. And what we're going to do now is just bring up Safari behind here. Oops, let's see it, Safari. And I'm going to join this session. Uh, and what happens now is that if we just lower this a little bit, instead when I change code here now, uh, let me change hello world again. Hello on the other side, and I say this, and you see everything updates below here. And even if I go to main here, for example, and I can log, uh, let's see an object there, foo bar, and I say this, and I move over to the log, you can see that everything happens below here in the other uh, browser. And what's kind of cool also is that when I click these objects now, this didn't happen when it wasn't live, but when it's live, it actually highlights the different parts. So this makes it really great for teaching purposes. Um, yes. 
so basically that's webpack pin um, and yeah of course one more feature uh, now I have full control uh, since I am the owner of this live bin uh, but I can actually click uh, the person here and now I have given control to the other person so when I try to click something here it doesn't work um, but if I move down here and maybe I can remove this and I can say hello uh, again and I say that and there we go. So this gives um, a really great possibility to, to teach different tools. Uh, and of course I can grab or retake the control again. Okay, uh, sorry I didn't prepare this <laughs> so much. This is beta and I just wanted to tell you about the features. And please use Webpack Bin and uh, give any feedback on uh, by creating an issue here on the info and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.